Talking today about the Fitbit Charge 4. Hi everybody, Karen Roby here with Matt Miller for ZDNet. You put a great uh, review together here for ZDNet for this particular product. So right out of the gate, what was your overall impression, Matt? So I was pretty excited uh, when I first got the news from Fitbit because bands don't excite me very much. Bands with GPS do excite me. So the band, of course, I think you have the Charge 3 and it's a very comfortable I mean, you can wear that thing 24 seven, hardly even know you're anything. Right. But for me, I like to get out and run and bike and I want more accurate tracking of all of that data and I need a GPS. So it was actually pretty amazing. I mean, the band, as you can see, the charge four is pretty much the exact same size as the charge three, but they're able to fit in a GPS receiver. So now when you go for a run or a bike, I think there's seven total GPS exercises that are supported. You just tap it, you let it connect. It takes about 20 seconds to connect to the GPS satellites and then it starts tracking, right? And then you go off and do your activity, you come back. And the cool thing is you can see all of the details of exactly where you were, but then in the Fitbit app on the phone itself, it has some advanced functions that aren't actually available on the Fitbit dashboard on the website. So what you'll see on the phone is you'll see what they call um, uh, intensity zones. So they're there's heart rate intensity zones and pace intensity zones. So on your on this Fitbit app, you'll see a red, orange, yellow, different heart rate zones. And then per pace, it'll have green, blue, and other colors. So you can see during your exercise where you were working really hard to try to overcome a hill or something like that. And, it, and that kind of detail allows you to say, okay, next time I'm on that spot, I'm going to challenge myself to either lower my heart rate or speed up my pace or something like that. So that was a pretty cool feature that I, I found that was now supported with this. Um, kind of what you were talking about, uh, charge three versus charge four. Um, if we look at the charge four, of course, GPS is supported. Uh, Fitbit Pay is also now supported on all charge four models. In the past, you had to buy this special edition charge three to get that NFC support for Fitbit Pay. Uh, Fitbit's decided all charge fours have it. So that, that's included. Um, there's also active zone minutes, which is a new measure, a new metric that they have, that is actually going to roll out in software updates to older Fitbits. It's using your age and your resting heart rate and then creating more. I think right now the Charge 3 that you have has um, active minutes or something like that that it tracks. But this active zone minutes takes that metric a little bit further to look at your overall uh, physiology and things like that to help you improve. And that's a lot of really detailed, I feel like, information that's packed in this, uh, <laughs> you know, in this little little band, in this little, uh, you know, fitness watch here. And I, I like that um, that it is so that it is so small. You know, such a sleek design. It's not bulky like a lot of the other ones are, but yet it offers a lot of the same uh, bells and whistles. Absolutely. And, and that's what's really stunning. You know, the design is the same. I have the Charge 3 here as well. It's pretty much the same, except what you'll see in the body is that the Charge 3 had a metal aluminum uh, casing. This one's all plastic. It's to help with making sure you have a, a good GPS signal. But the weight's the same. It's like 30 grams. I mean, it just disappears on your wrist. But then the amount of data, and you think it's probably doing nothing, right? Because it's so small, it's unobtrusive. But then you go in the app and you'll see your sleep score, right? You'll see, and if you're a premium subscriber, you'll see every detail you could think about your sleep, right? There's active sleep, there's your REM sleep, there's motions. It even has a um, respir respiration type of counts and stuff like that. I mean, it, the details that you'll see in the app and the data, it just kind of blows your mind that it's able to fit in this small package. Um, another thing that's kind of nice about this is it has uh, Spotify Connect. So as you're running, a lot of people with a Fitbit, especially one that doesn't have GPS, will run with a phone, right, and a connected phone. I like to run with music. Um, I hate to have to pull my phone out to manage my music I'm running. So Spotify Connect is an app on here, and it will allow you to play, pause, skip ahead, skip back, just from the itself. So it really is a device that I think the masses will love it, you know, because GPS was kind of the last thing they were looking for. Of course, you know, the heavy duty smartwatch and GPS sport watch fans may not like it because they want more, right? But for somebody that's looking for a great device um, that covers the GPS and all that, it, it, it's a good choice. And it's priced the same, right? It's $150, uh, same as the, as the Charge 3 was. 
Yeah, that was going to be my, my last question, okay. obviously, was about the price there. So that's a really good value, it, it seems to be. Yeah, especially if you're going to compare it to um, some other GPS or sports watch, right? 150 that includes GPS and the whole Fitbit ecosystem, which is very powerful. Now, the particular unit that I have actually been testing, I wrote the review on, was the uh, special edition version. And that used to mean, as I said earlier, that you get Fitbit Pay. Now, all that simply means is you get a, a special woven band and the traditional black band, classic band. So you get two bands, which for a $20 premium on the special edition, the band itself is like 30 bucks. So it's actually a better deal to buy the special edition option there. Yeah, definitely. And I like the look of the of the woven one there, just for something different, you know, change it up too. Well, plus it actually has a little bit of reflective uh, material in there. So for safety reasons, it actually would reflect as you're running at nighttime and things like that too. So there's a little bit of that element. Uh, one other thing I'll mention, especially during this time of coronavirus and all the stuff we're dealing with, is Fitbit um, used to provide 30 days of Fitbit premium, which gives you uh, guided programs, body weight workouts, yoga workouts, all kinds of really nice programs to help you out. They now expanded that to 90 days free during this period. So if you buy the Fitbit, you get 90 days free and it, it'll, it's nice because you'll be thinking, oh my gosh, this is, I'm, I'm getting bored of all the same things I'm doing. And with Fitbit premium, you've got it. I mean, it's almost an unlimited number of exercises and workouts. So you can really explore different things and, and try to maintain some sanity and some health and fitness during this time, you know? Yeah, we're all looking for that right now, man. We need to do what we can to keep our sanity. And when you do feel like you're locked in the house to have, you know, to be able to escape outside and and then track it and have all of those great features with it, uh, now is a great time to take advantage of that. And that was, yeah, you said absolutely. a 90 day free trial, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, all right. And I know you've got that uh, full uh, review there of the Fitbit Charge 4 up, Matt, on ZDNet, along with so many other uh, reviews and great articles there. So we certainly appreciate it, and we appreciate you watching. We hope you'll check out ZDNet.